All right. It says walk, so. Yeah, I can do that for you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Is this good? Sorry about the shaky camera, folks, but I just recently got out of the ER. They're taking this uh, woman into custody over here. I think. Mm. They're arresting a woman, Bob, they took out of the uh, SUV. Bob, they're arresting a lady they took out of the SUV. All right. Wait. I'll scratch that. They just patted her down for weapons. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought I thought they were taking her into custody, but I was mistaken. Huh. They don't want us to walk further out of the crosswalk. You mean down the walkway? Right. They just want us to stay in the crosswalk, and they, I asked if it was if it was good right here, and they gave me a thumbs up. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, to reiterate. It's a hit and run, can't find the victim. They're calling the hospitals, trying to identify. A sergeant told me they're taking somebody into custody over there that they like. They have taken someone into custody over there that they like for a possible hit and run. <coughs> well, it's not gonna be no good if they don't have a victim. Mm, no. Got another one, they're patting down for weapons, looks like. Putting cuffs, well, they're not putting cuffs on, but they have his fingers together. Mm -hmm. Just remove some stuff out of his pockets. Real hard to get good video, guys, because of the lens flare I'm getting off the cop's light bars is just murder at this angle. But yeah, so one of these people was the driver in a hit and run that they have detained over here. And that person might be in a car that might be standing right here in front of us. We really don't know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I always wonder that they think, hey, do I look cinematic? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just patted him down for weapons. Went through his pockets. Just like they did with the female. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Yeah. yeah. Taking another person out of the SUV and patting down for weapons again. They're taking another guy out the front of the uh, are the passenger side and um, patting down for weapons like they did the other two. Mm -hmm. At this point, if I were them, I'm not a lawyer. I can't give legal advice, but I would be saying about right now, you can pat me down for weapons officer, but I do not consent to search of my person or my vehicle. No, I'd be saying just the opposite. I'd be sitting there saying that you can't search. I do not consent to any search. Right. Or seizure. Well, they have a legal right in Oregon to pat your pat you down for weapons, mm -hmm. but not to go in your pockets and take things out. So if you know, yeah, that's fine. And I've read that in the ORS, so I'm 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 totally good with them doing that. You know, cursory, run their hands down my clothes. But yeah, general rule of thumb. Explain very succinctly officer. I don't consent to any sort of search like Bob said there But I've consented for pats down for weapons pat downs, but that's just because I I want the officers to feel safe I want them not to feel as if though mm -hmm. I'm a danger to them at all And I know they can just go ahead and do it anyway if you tell them you don't consent to a search they can still pat you down <laughs> But yeah, they they shouldn't be going in your pockets if you don't consent unless they have reasonable, articulable suspicion that you've committed a crime. They have to have probable cause, something they can articulate in the affidavit of probable, probable cause for your arrest, yada, 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 crap, crap, crap. Or at least that's the way I understand it as the anarchist douchebag cop watcher out there. I'm my favorite douchebag, Bob. You realize that? Let's see, are you going to take anybody else out? Mm -hmm. Pat down for weapons. Oh, and now they go for the going deep. Now it's time to search the vehicle. Yep. Yep. I believe they've spotted some truffles. Never ever underestimate the olfactory power of your average law enforcement officer. These pigs can smell a truffle like. One sixteenth of a gram of truffle oil on on the back seat on the back carpet. They they can smell that. <laughs> they can also over overturn a hundred cubic feet of dirt per hour with their snouts. I mean, the North American <laughs> pig is no joke. <laughs> they are digging machines, going deep right there for truffle oil <laughs> or truffles or anything fun they can use to get these people in a cage and a system for the rest of their life. They're gonna go deep. Yes. They're squealing hard up in this vehicle. <laughs> and also I have to add this disclaimer, no actual law enforcement was harmed during the production of this feature. So all the cop suckers out there that feel like you need to defend a organized paramilitary organization carrying APS batons, no ASP batons, sorry, OC spray, tasers, 9mm pistols, wearing sometimes shank resistant and definitely bullet resistant clothing, also being armed in their trunks 
with less lethal shotguns and AR-15 rifles need defending from Bob and I standing here holding the camera. I just find that hilarious that I still get people that waddle up to me and, you know, act like they need to defend their captors. I mean, uh, their, yeah, Google Stockholm Syndrome, America. If you're out there watching that and you're like wondering why people film the police, it's because Lady Liberty has a serious case of battered women, battered woman's syndrome or st cultural Stockholm Syndrome, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, she's uh, pretty much just bucking back for the police state to give it that sweet, to give her that sweet, sweet loving. And I'm sickened by it, so that's why I do what I do, because Lady Liberty's getting the old family style by the police state. And that was colorful. What do you think, Bob? Is that advertiser friendly? That's advertiser friendly. No F bomb, right? Yeah. There's somebody still screaming their head off over there. Mm hmm. Is that the woman they patted down for weapons a minute ago? Yeah. <laughs> And at least we not be sexist. We have a sow over there as well. <laughs> we are equal opportunity hecklers of the police. And yes, we do have a great North American sow. AKA the Revenue Rangers. Revenue Asaurus Rex stampeding, <laughs> trampling all over rights, all over every back road and highway in America. Your glorious bastards in blue. But hey, if they find the person that hit hit somebody and then drove off, I'm not exactly going to have very much sympathy sympathy for them, am I, Bob? No. Do you have uh, sympathy for people that run people over on the road, Bob? No. Me neither. An accident's one thing, but if you're uh, if you intentionally hit them or if you hit them on accident and keep going. <coughs> 